I feel like I'm, my best things are still in front of me. I really feel that God has given me uh, the energy and the health for some reason to paint. And I'm going to paint better things. By that, I don't mean better. I mean more thoughtful things. Not so much. Uh, in Italian, there's a word called veduti, which means views. And most of the young painters that come to Provincetown do scenes, which I did too. You know, I was taken by it. But then there's something else. There's another skin, another layer that you have to go beyond. And I think I'm approaching that. Yeah. The metaphysical aspect of Provincetown is, uh, is only apparent after you've been here a while. It really relates more to, if you look at Hopper's things, they look visually beautiful and recognizable. But a lot of his paintings have this metaphysical aspect which makes them transcend to another level. Yeah. And that's what these guys are, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do. Do you think that that transformation has to do with aging and aging in the same place and not moving around? Well, I think it helps to stay in one, you know, uh, uh, what did I say, uh, uh, rolling rock doesn't gather any moss. But uh, yes, I think some of that is is from the fact that that I've stayed in this place now since 19... Well, I got married in 1953, and this has been our home for my family since then, you know. So there is something to that, you know. And uh, my colleague, uh, wonderful painter, Paul Rezica, he's sort of launched, he stay, he, he's made this sort of like his home now. And you see his stuff is, is so incredible. You know? and you, have to, you have to stay a while. Yeah, you got to know the territory. <laughs> but if you travel around, you become a vedudista, a, a viewer, a painter of views, and you could be anywhere. Yeah. So that's the difference.